The incredible ability that music has to affect and manipulate emotions and the brain is undeniable, yet still largely inexplicable. Marcus, does that have anything to do with the fact that uh, during shout music, woo, they play drums, use drum beat. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so 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 you've been in these churches where they, they have quote altar calls, right? And the music has a heavy drum beat, and they they're pleading to the people to come to Christ. Well, no, that's during dance time, right? Yeah. Or even during dance time, even during the beginning, the, even during the beginning. <laughs> Pay attention when you visit another church. The first song is kind of tame. But then it built, the second song is building up. By the time they get to the third song, oh man, the beat's there, it's all, it's all there. Because supposedly, the Holy Spirit has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he could come by a drum beat. <laughs> You've been there. And they really wanted to show up. They hit the cymbals. <laughs> ding, 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 And he shows up, supposedly. Oh, Lord. Yeah. You said it correctly. It's emotionalism. It has nothing to do with God. Because where is the Holy Spirit? Is it in the building? Is it not in us? Are we not the temple of the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. Did we not actually bring the Holy Ghost? <laughs> so why are we denying that and saying, come on? Welcome, it's foolishness. Yeah, we talk about welcome. Let's let's set the atmosphere. My man. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's usher in the spirit of God. All this foolishness. All this foolishness. So we have to look at what we're listening to. Music is powerful. How many of you? Really ever pay attention to the words of the music you listen to. Someone just mentioned Earth, Wind, and Fire. Growing up, hey, how's the band? I mean, come on. To find out they, they, they worship other gods. Egyptian gods. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I mean, granted, I always thought their covers were interesting. I always had some e Egyptians on their cover. I didn't know they were worshiping Egyptian gods, but that's what they do. That's exactly what they do. We have to be careful, the source for the things we use. Amen. We have to be careful. You recall um, uh, in the Gospels, Luke 9, 55, it says, Jesus turned and rebuked them and said, You know not what manner of spirit you are of. <clears throat> we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Uh, let's look at... Um, Look at First Chronicles 15. <laughs> Starting at, say, verse um, 16. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be singers with instruments of music, psalters and harps and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Heman, uh, the son of Joel, and his brethren, Asaph, the son of Berechiah, and the son of Merari, their brethren, Ethan, the sons of Cushai, and with them the brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and, and Jeziel. Now go down to um, 22. And Chechaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful. skillful. Mm -hmm. Today we would say he had a gift. Yeah. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. But because he had a gift, he had to instruct. Mm -hmm. My man. Are you with me? Amen. God put in that body the people with the skills to do what they're supposed to do. Amen. Yep. Okay. Now look at um, look at um, Second Chronicles twenty nine. Let's look at how they actually put their music together. <coughs> look at verse uh, 30. <coughs> Moreover, Hezekiah the king and the princes commanded the Levites 
to sing praise unto the Lord with the words of David and Asaph the seer. And they sang praises with gladness and they bowed their heads and, and worshiped. Worship. So praise should come right out of the word of God. Amen. We don't need to create any new words. It's, it's, they use the words of God. The music should come from somebody in that, in, in that assembly that God has gifted with that ability. Amen. We don't need to sample anything from the world. <laughs> Are you with me? Amen. We don't need to sample anything from the world. The, um, and uh, to close wrap up this segment, look at Psalm 96. I'm going to keep talking about other examples of witchcraft. <laughs> Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all the people. Amen. They should be looking at us and sampling our music. Amen. Because our music has power. Mm. It should. It should. <laughs> it should. Put it that way. They should be sampling us. They should be, I mean, here's hey, this new beat. Not us copying them. That makes absolutely no sense. Amen. Absolutely no sense. Amen. Let's continue on this whole witchcraft thing. There's another topic 